Members of the Senate, please be seated. This morning, we're honored to have Senator Josh Green offer a moment of contemplation. Aloha, colleagues. I think it's probably appropriate just to take a, um, a brief moment of silence and pray for those who um, lost their lives in Belgium and for the families that were um, also affected and who have tragedies uh, carry with them through their lives. So let's pray for them. Let's pray for peace. And on a lighter note, let's pray for Senator uh, Rivera, who's having his colonoscopy today. Amen. Well, we're advocating good health practices all the way around. <laughs> Will the... Senate, please come to order. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Senator Baker? Yes. Senator Chun Oakland? Yes. Senator Dela Cruz? Yes. Senator English? Yes. Senator Espero? Yes. Senator Gabbard? Yes. Senator Galuteria? Excused. Senator Green? Yes. Senator Harimoto? Excused. Senator Ihara? Yes. Senator Inoue? Yes. Senator Kahele? Congratulations. I'm sorry, excused. Senator Keith Agaron. Senator Kidani. Senator Kim. Senator Nishihara. Senator Riviere. Excused. Senator Ruderman. Senator Shimabukuro. Here. Senator Sloan. Here. Senator Taniguchi. Here. Senator Thielen. Here. Senator Tokuda. Here. Senator Wakai. Mr. President. Present. 21 present, 4 excused. Thank you. The chair has read the journal of the preceding day and approves the same. Are there any introductions this morning? Senator Sparrow. Thank you, Mr. President, colleagues and guests. I'd like to introduce to you today a group of dynamic students from the community of Eva Beach. Uh, they are from Holomua Elementary School. This school opened in 1996, and they are fortunate to have one of the air-conditioned elementary schools in our state. They are the Voyagers, and they certainly appreciate all that you've done for them in West Oahu with UH West Oahu Rail and other projects. With me, you might recognize their teacher, Mr. Will Kane, formerly of Senator Kidani's staff, and his um, parent chaperone, Rihanna Ramboa, and Will, the bright, excitable, Intelligence sixth graders from Holomoa Elementary School, please rise and be acknowledged. Welcome to your state capital. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Further introductions, Senator Kidani. Thank you, Mr. President. On your behalf, I would like to introduce Ms. Taylor Kishinami. Please stand, Taylor. Taylor is a freshman at Iolani who lives in Palolo, and she is an intern this session with Senate, Senate President's Office. Thank you. Further introduction, Senator Baker. Thank you, Mr. President. Colleagues, this is the American Diabetes Association yearly alert day in keeping with the health theme established by our inspirational uh, <laughs> opening speaker. <laughs> Alert Day is the fourth Tuesday of March. It's a program that the American Diabetes Association uses to raise awareness for personal risk factors for diabetes, and it gives me great pleasure to recognize our local chapter of the American Diabetes Association. Some of you may not know, but nearly 600,000 people in Hawaii live with diabetes or prediabetes, a statistic that translates to approximately one in every three residents statewide. 
The American Diabetes Association has made significant strides to better outcomes and increase education and access to, res to resources for those affected by this disease, and in doing so has really made a tangible, positive impact on health across Hawaii. As an example, their research has resulted in increased focus on preventative efforts centered on at-risk populations. Through local mission-critical work, community outreach, and a network of deeply committed volunteers, they have confronted the diabetes crisis head-on, and their dedicated work is certainly worthy of commendation. As part of Alert Day, the Hawaii Diabetes Association will be in room 329 from 1230 to 2, offering educational resources and information on increasing your individual risk of diabetes. I hope everyone will educate themselves about their risk for type 2 diabetes in order to help improve their health and the health of our state. It's now my pleasure to yield the floor to our doctor in the house, Senator Josh Green, who will be introducing representatives from the Hawaii Diabetes Association. Senator Green. Thank you, Senator Baker. Uh, Mr. President, colleagues, there are many ways in which uh, the Hawaii Diabetes Association helps our community, but without their dedicated uh, individuals who lead the organization, they certainly wouldn't have the same sec uh, success they have today. Today, it's my great pleasure to introduce some of those key leaders, and if you'd stand when I call your name and, and stay up while we're uh, supporting you, please. Uh, first, Dr. Deanne Carpenter, Internal Medicine at JABSM, Department of uh, Native Hawaiian Health, immediate past president of the American Diabetes Association, Hawaii Community Leadership Board. Congratulations. <laughs> Jane Katohiro, president and CEO of the Diabetes Education and Support uh, Consulting Services, past president, uh, American Diabetes Association, Hawaii Community Leadership Board. Congratulations, Jane. <laughs> Gina Sequena. Government and Community Relations Director, American Diabetes Hawaii Community Leadership Board member as well. Thank you, Gina. Uh, Lori Tom, who is an endocrinologist, past president of the American Diabetes Association Hawaii Community Leadership Team's board as well. Thank you, Dr. Tom. And final, finally, Michael Che, who is the Regional Director of Northern California and Hawaii. These are wonderful people. Let's give them all another round of applause. <laughs> and Mr. President, at the appropriate time, if we had a recess to greet our honored guests, it'd be great. Yes. Do we have any further introductions? If not, we'll call a short, if there are no objections from the members, we'll call a short recess for the purpose of greeting our honored guests. Senate, please be seated. Will the Senate please come back to order? Madam Clerk. Governor's message number 696 makes a correction to Governor's message number 695. File. On pages 2 through 6, Governor's message numbers 697 to 728 transmit nominations to various boards and commissions for referral to committee. Referrals for Governor's messages number 697 to 728 are made in accordance with the referrals listed on the order of the day. On page 6, House Communication No. 363 returns Senate Bill No. 2312, Senate Draft 1, which passed third reading in the House in an amended form for agree-disagree. Defer one day. House Communication No. 364 informs the Senate that Senate Bill 2825, Senate Draft 1, passed third reading in the House unamended. File. On pages 7 through 14, Standing Committee Report Numbers 2939 to 2984 for adoption. Senator Green. Mr. President, I move for the adoption of standing committee reports numbers 2939 to 2984. Senator Sloan. I second that motion. It's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion, any objections? If not, motion carried. On pages 14 and 15, standing committee report numbers 2985 to 2988 for one day notice. So ordered. Referrals and re-referrals. Referrals and re-referrals are made in accordance with the supplemental order of the day, which may be distributed to your offices later this afternoon. No further business, Mr. President. Are there any announcements? Senator Gabbard? Uh, Mr. President, I request a waiver of the notice requirement pursuant to Senate Rule 21 in order to hold a hearing on HP 2037 HD1. The waiver is granted. 
Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Your committees on water, land, and ag, and tourism and international affairs will hold a public hearing on this bill on Wednesday at 2.45 p.m. in conference room 224. The notice was filed in the clerk's office yesterday evening. Are there any further announcements, Senator Baker? Thank you, Mr. President. I request a waiver of the notice requirement pursuant to Senate Rule 21 in order to hold a hearing on House Bill 1756, House Bill 3, relating to nursing and nursing requirements. Waiver is granted. Thank you, Mr. President. Your Committee on Commerce, Consumer Protection, and Health will hold a public hearing on this bill Wednesday at 9.15 in Conference Room 229. The notice was filed in the clerk's office yesterday evening. Are there any further announcements? If not, Senator Green. Thank you, Mr. President. I move the Senate stand adjourned until 11.30 a.m. tomorrow. Senator Sloan. And may God watch over the victims and families of the latest of Islamic terrorism. I second the motion. It's been moved and seconded. If there are no objections from the members, the Senate will stand adjourned until 11.30 a.m. tomorrow.